add or subtract rational expressions, we must have the same or like denominators. Notice these two examples do not contain like denominators. So for the first step, we're going to rewrite the problem, leaving a lot more space horizontally and including parentheses around the denominators. So we'll have three over the quantity x minus three plus two over the quantity x plus five. Well, to have like denominators or the same denominators, both denominators must contain the same factors. Notice how this denominator has a factor of x plus five, but this one doesn't. So we can multiply this denominator by a factor of x plus five as long as we do the same to the numerator. Remember, anything over itself is equal to one, so this is like multiplying by one. Notice this denominator does not have the factor of x minus three, so again we can multiply this by x minus three as long as we do the same to the numerator. And now notice the denominators contain the same factors and therefore we have the same denominators. So now we can add these fractions by keeping the denominator the same and adding the numerators. So our denominator is going to be the quantity x minus three times the quantity x plus five. Remember the order of this doesn't matter because it's multiplication. And now we're going to combine the numerators. So we'll have three times the quantity x plus five plus two times the quantity x minus three. So now we'll distribute in the numerator and combine like terms. So here we'll have three x plus fifteen. Here we'll have two x minus six. And now we'll combine like terms in the numerator. We have three x plus two x, that's five x. And then we have fifteen minus six, that's equal to nine. And since five x plus nine does not factor, this does not simplify. So we can leave our answer like this, or sometimes you'll see it where we have parentheses in the numerator as well. either form is acceptable. Now let's take a look at an example of a subtraction problem. Again, for the first step, we're going to leave some room horizontally and put parentheses around the denominators. So we'll have seven over the quantity x plus two minus five over the quantity x plus three. And now we want to have denominators with the same factors. So this denominator needs a factor of x plus three. So I'll multiply this fraction by x plus three over x plus three. And this denominator needs a factor of x plus two. So I'll multiply by x plus two over x plus two. And now that we have the same denominator, the denominator is going to stay the same. Quantity x plus two times the quantity x plus three and now we'll combine the numerators by subtracting. So we'll have seven times the quantity x plus three minus five times the quantity x plus two. Now we'll clear the parentheses and combine the like terms in the numerator. So here we'll distribute seven, so we'll have seven x plus twenty-one, and here because of the subtraction, we'll think of distributing a negative five, so we'll have negative five x or minus five x and then negative ten or minus ten. So again, we'll have seven x plus twenty-one minus five x minus ten. And now we'll combine the like terms in the numerator. Seven x minus five x would be two x, and twenty-one minus ten is equal to eleven, so we have plus eleven. Again, the numerator does not factor, and therefore this does not simplify, and again, sometimes you will see the numerator in parentheses as well. Again, either form is acceptable. Okay, I hope you found these two examples helpful. We'll take a look at two more in the next video.